Carrie! Last time you showed me in the chat how a robot can answer you. And I want to know, can that thing do anything else? Well, I'm cooking a turkey right now, but I think I have a minute. Alright, Cosmo. You've been streaming on Twitch for a little bit now, and I think you really need to get some basic commands going. There's so many amazing and fun commands out there, but today I want to keep it simple and tell you about the five must-have commands I think you should have set up right away for your stream. Now, each third-party bot software has their own way to code commands, but since we're on stream elements, that's what I'm going to teach you on. We're going to go ahead and start off on the stream elements dashboard. You're going to want to shimmy your cute butt over to the chat bot section and then click chat commands. Then we're gonna go ahead and ignore the default commands and just go to the custom commands tab. And this, Cosmo, is where the magic happens. I want to start off with one of the most common codes that is used. And it looks like this, dollar sign bracket one bracket. This is one of the user commands. Basically, that code will automatically fill in the name of the person you want to address. To show you how it's done, we'll create a simple welcome command incorporating that specific user command. First, what we're gonna go ahead and do is click add a new command. Since this is a welcome command, we'll go ahead and type in welcome. You can call it whatever you like. You can say hi, yo, hey, sup. But every command on Twitch is triggered with the exclamation point followed by the name of the command. Now, commands like the welcome command are used to address someone specifically. For instance, I'll use my friend and fellow streamer Rice Kits Be Treat as an example. If Rice Kits Be Treat decided to follow you on Twitch, Cosmo, the chat could welcome her in by typing exclamation point welcome Rice Kits Be Treat. Then what we set as the response will appear. For this example, we'll type something in like, welcome dollar sign bracket one bracket. Congratulations for joining the Cosmos Cool Cat Cult. You've reached ultimate enlightenment. Cool cat, I spelled that way because it'll trigger a popular emote in Twitch that I think fits you, Cosmo. You'll see in a second how this all plays out. We will keep the user level so anybody can use it. And now that we've set that, we're gonna go ahead and hit activate command. And then we're gonna go ahead and head over to the chat section on your Twitch to test it out. And type in exclamation point welcome. And you can use your own username if you like to use to test this out. I'll just keep using my friend to rice kits be treat as an example. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Welcome, Rice Kits Be Treat. Congratulations for joining the Cosmos. And the cool cat word was actually replaced by a picture of a really cool cat. And now over here, the user command has been replaced by my friend's Twitch username. Now, just as a side note, Cosmo, if you want to use more emos to express yourself, you can go ahead and come to the smiley face right here. It'll bring up a panel with a bunch of these cute looking emotes. And if you hover over them, it'll show you the word you have to type to trigger that emote. But make sure to type it exactly how you see it or it won't work. Now, another common username command is dollar sign bracket user bracket. This code will fill in the name of anyone who uses this specific command. For instance, let's make an alternative welcome command. Since we already have one called welcome, we're going to call this one hi. And in the response section, we're going to go ahead and say something like dollar sign bracket user bracket welcomes dollar sign bracket one bracket with some pizza. And then it says pizza time. We'll go ahead and activate this and test it out in our Twitch chat. Exclamation point. Hi, Rice Kits Be Treat. And then Cosmo and Carrie welcomes Rice Kits Be Treat with some pizza. And then it shows you a pizza time emo. And there you have it. Isn't that easy, Cosmo? Oh, I love those. You can totally do it in your suite. Now, the second command command I recommend is the lurk command. Now alert command is often used by viewers to let the streamer know that they're watching and supporting their stream, but they might not be in a position to be able to participate in the chat for one reason or another. Now in order to create this lurk command, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, add new command, we're going to go ahead and type in lurk. And for this specific one, I recommend you go ahead and keep it as lurk because that's what everyone in the Twitch community knows it as. And then you can go ahead and type something fun in the response like, user has decided to temporarily 
temporarily step away from Cosmo's cool cat cult to go out into the world and spread the good word. Hooray! We're gonna go ahead and hit activate and then we'll go ahead and test that on stream. And there you have it. Now the third command is the shout out command. This command is used to shout out fellow streamers to let your viewers know to check them out. It's often used when a streamer raids you or hosts you or if you're just feeling nice. It's just a nice thing to do. It makes people feel good about themselves. And it also helps them out. You gotta spread the love on Twitch. Most people tend to use SO as an abbreviation for shout out as the command name. We can also make sure that it can be triggered if someone decides to spell out the full word. To do this, go to the advanced settings and over here down in command aliases, type out shout out. The command alias section is where you can add words that will alternatively trigger this command in case someone doesn't use the actual command name. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to the settings section and finish out the response. We'll go ahead and type something like this. If you like cool cats like me, then make sure to check out user at this channel and then blah, 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 blah. For this to work properly, we need to make sure like the welcome command that we use the person's username. So it's going to look something like this. Exclamation point SO rice kits the treat and then there you have it if you like cool cats like me then make sure to check out rice kits be treat at their channel and the bot will automatically link their channel on twitch so if you go ahead and click this it'll take you to my friend rice kits be treats channel if you want to follow someone cool make sure to check her out there you go cosmo now you can go ahead and shout out Schumann to try and help him out even though he probably really wouldn't do the same for you <laughs> the fourth command i recommend is the socials command this is pretty straightforward it's always a good idea idea to build a platform outside of Twitch. That way you can make new audiences somewhere else and bring them over to Twitch or you can connect with your current audience and connect with them in different areas of the internet. Now I know you don't really have many social media platforms Cosmo but I do know that you have a YouTube account so we're gonna go ahead and at least work with that. If you had more social media accounts you can go ahead and call it something like socials and in the response type out all your social media links. But since you only have YouTube we're just gonna go ahead and type YT. You can go always add the full word under the alias tab just in case someone types in the full word and then in the response we're just going to go ahead and type something like this can't get enough of cosmo eh follow me on youtube to get closer to me and then over here you can link your youtube channel activate it real quick and let's go ahead and see if it works there you have it you click that and it takes you straight to your YouTube channel. Bada bing, bada boom, Cosmo. Ooh. Now the fifth and final command is the commands command. As you start getting good at creating commands, you're gonna have a whole list of them that your viewers will have a hard time keeping track of. Stream Elements has a page specifically for you that generates all the commands that's active on your channel. It's gonna be found at streamelements.com backslash Cosmo and carry backslash commands. If you know that somebody else uses Stream Elements, you could actually type in their username right here. In fact, I'm for certain that Rice Kids Be Treat uses stream elements, so we're gonna go ahead and check her out. And there you have it. This is all the commands that Rice Kids Be Treat uses on her Twitch streams. So let's go ahead and finish setting yours up. All right, we're gonna give it a name like command. And in the response section, we're gonna put something like, wanna know what else you can do in chat? Check out my command list here. We're gonna do our due diligence and check. And boom, you're in business. Do you smell something burning? <gasps> My turkey! Well, at least we were able to save one thing.